Welcome back. This is Jeff. I'm playing Grand Theft Auto here with Graham, and we're gonna uh, give the uh, the story mode a try. Grand Theft Auto Five, that is. <clears throat> you mean Grand Theft Auto V? Oh yes. I never played the furthest I've ever gotten any story mode in any Grand Theft Auto is like halfway. <laughs> so I always get too distracted. Cause you just like the murder and the mayhem. Well, yeah, somebody will piss me off, and then I gotta, I have to have retribution. Or like you'll be walking down the street, and some girl will scream, and be like, "Oh, don't touch me!" and then I'll kill them. <laughs> Calling up the detonator. I like to that in this like prologue chapter you have like an old phone too. Does it get destroyed? I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had to play this. Yeah, I only played it once. Same. <laughs> when it first came out and then I just kept uh Continuing onwards with my story. Can we get any the more? whole story? Yep. <laughs> oh shit. See, I've only beaten far enough to unlock the characters. That's like really early on. Yeah, in this one. Because <laughs> by the time I did that, it was around the time that I bought my PS4. And so I started playing PS4 games and never looked back. You bought this like that recently? What? Grand Theft Auto? Yeah. Grand Theft Auto was the last PS3 game I bought. I know, but like this came out like three years ago. Yeah. And I got my PS4 like a year and a half ago. So yeah. <laughs> so in a year and a half you got to like level three. Yeah. <laughs> because I always get distracted. Were you taught me? Yeah. <laughs> That's how I brought it up. I don't just get to half and then I get distracted, I'm distracted constantly. By the amount of fun slash murder that I could have. I wish you could fly in this game. You can. No, you can't. What cheat codes? You don't fly, you just jump good. You can get the fly one. Oh, really? I never heard, saw that one. As soon as you hit the ground, you die. But you can fly sort of. Oh, so you can't fly and then land and then punch people? No. What's the point? I don't know. Why do you need to have, like, all these insane superpowers? <laughs> That's how I would want it. It's like, uh, what's it called? Second Life or whatever. You know in The Office when Dwight has, in Dwight's Second Life he's exactly Dwight but he can fly? That's how I want my life to be. Not my second life. You should blow up that whole barn. This car. Oh, the car that's down there. Man, you're just shooting up cops. Apparently, like, if you, like, I don't know where it is or I would do it, but, uh... This is, like, a thing if you drive to a certain point in this, um, tutorial level, um, you can find a, uh, spaceship. That you can use? No, oh. it's frozen in the ice. And because there's all sorts of like extraterrestrial uh, references throughout this game, like you can find spaceship parts and there's like weird alien messages and shit. That's like the uh, DLC in Saints Row 3 where you go to space. Am I able to. Oh, there's no menu yet. 
Oh, nice. I like that DLC, fight aliens. On Mars, I think? We should go to Mars. I was looking at a thing uh, on the internet, as some people do. Uh, and it was like they're working on a legit thing. NASA is, by when I say they, uh, of like space travel uh, with laser technology. Uh -huh. There would be like, it seems really sci fi, and the article admits it in it, but it's like they're legit working on it, whereas you could potentially get to Mars in like half an hour oh by teleporting or just by like a just vehicle? how fast the vehicle yeah the transport would go that's pretty rad yeah. i mean and it, the whole article it's like only in science fiction would we have ever thought this but people are actually working on this prototype laser and it's like obviously it'd be super expensive if just a regular dude wanted to go and there's nothing on mars so but uh we're getting there. Whoa. Fuck. Yeah, because you pretty much can only go to this area in this level, like in this little air, like, pr prologue thing. Um, so, like, this whole part of the map is just, like, kind of separate from your world map. Mm -hmm. And so, like, people who, like, you use cheats and stuff, like, can get over here again. And um, there isn't much, but there is this, like, with that weird alien thing I mentioned. And, um... I forget what else. I forget how they're little late Easter eggs. <laughs> I love Trevor. I think everybody does. He's so crazy. He reminds me of Danny DeVito. <laughs> he is very DeVito-esque. He's just a psychotic person. Crazy Brad. Got some gun down. Now we gotta, like, fucking hold off and please. Like, even DeVito, like, when he first shows up in Sunny, he's just like, Hey, kids, so I was talking to your whore mother the other day, and it's just like, yeah. <laughs> in uh, one of the most recent episodes, uh, one of the few things he actually says in the episode is just to D and just saying, Hey, shut up, whore. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that getting cut up on that show. It's pretty great. The season finale this year, they go to hell. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> they just do whatever on that show. Yeah. And it's awesome. <laughs> I haven't watched it in a long time. <laughs> This is so epic. Like, such a cool way to start the game. I forgot all about it. And he gets away. It'll be weird to play this without, like, hearing the radio and hearing the people swear. <laughs> it's like five people. This guy's such a dickhead. I have no connection to him. <laughs> it's like the cop that you work with the whole fucking movie. Or show, whatever <laughs> game. It unfolds like a movie. I'm surprised they haven't like licensed out the Grand Theft Auto name to a movie. I don't know what it would be, but just sort of a crime movie that you could just, you know, slap that logo on and get money. Just the rock's life. <laughs> Just a criminal? Yeah. Hardened thug? Ba -ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Come on. His muscles are a crime on the rest of humanity. This is like Godfather. Mm hmm. I haven't watched those movies in a fucking long time. You mean movie? Yes. <laughs> Plays that fucking game. Yeah, two's not that good. 
What are you talking about? Two is actually the best one. <laughs> Three was the worst one. I don't. I like one better than two. No, I like two better. But uh, three, I only watched for like twenty minutes, and I hated it. Yeah, it's the worst thing that ever happened. Two though is perfect. It's a great sequel because Michael has to deal with everything that happened in the Godfather one. It's a good sequel, but I like this first one. I don't buy that he just. Well, he kind of earned it, but I don't buy that he was just in power all of a sudden. Why? He took it. Yeah. That's all of one is him taking it. Yeah. I like one mostly for the whole uh, gun in the bathroom scene. Oh, yeah. This guy's such a dink. I love that, like, in this game, you can, like, go to Pilates and, like, therapy and yoga if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you can get drunk. <laughs> it's like the Rocky statue, but just this head. This was such, like, a, uh... A great thing that they did to like go back to the San Andreas world. Mm -hmm. Made them a lot of money by oh. going back. Yeah, hell yeah. Wonder if there's gonna be a Grand Theft Auto Six. Oh, of course there will be. I don't know. I didn't really like Grand Theft Auto Four. Or yeah, Four. Yeah, but everyone else in the world did. What? What? Oh, it was like, there was 1, 2, 3, and there was Vice City, and there was San Andreas, and then there was 4, and then there was this, right? Yeah. Um, yes. Well, and there was also the PSP ones, like Get Ballad of Gay Tony. Yeah, but they don't count. Yes, they do. <laughs> but You meet the people from those in this game. Because there was also a uh, DS one, too. Chinatown Wars. Yeah, but that's set in the time of the first games. Mm -hmm. And uh, I love that when you have a chainsaw in that game, I love that that sounds so morbid, like I'm a serial killer or something. <laughs> but uh, the sound, because it's so ridiculous, um, but when you kill someone with a chainsaw in that game, it just sounds like you're squishing a grape or something. <laughs> it's like, oh, I just killed that ant? <laughs> but yeah, was, so I liked all the Grand Theft Auto games. I didn't really like four that much. I only didn't like four because the driving was really difficult because everything's so compact in the New York City style yeah. city. But uh, the rest of the game I liked. It was a good story. It was made a little bit too realistic, I thought. Well, this is like the same thing. Yeah, you could still get away with a lot more than this. Like. Uh, damage wise, I mean. Well, it's the same. No, you could get it. You get shot more in that. Or less than that, I mean. Uh, I don't know. Just don't get shot. You know, sometimes when I'm going about my day, sometimes bullets are involved. Oh, you would choose the white car. <laughs> it's faster. <laughs> I like these two. Dun, dun, dun. Gotta race him back to uh, where are we going? Police cops. Police cops. Yeah, that's the movie we're in. <laughs> right now. Oh yeah, I have to follow him, it's not like a race. Yeah. God, he's driving insane. This took me a lot to catch him. Because of my bullshit hand. I had to do it like five times, I think. I, uh... I like that now that I've played the game so much, I can, like, navigate the city pretty well. So this playthrough might not be so bad. 
<laughs> yeah, first you gotta catch the guy. Yeah, he's right there. Traps are here for no goddamn reason. I like though this this level kind of like introduces you to all the little areas. Yeah, I never noticed that. I was always too focused on fuck. He's over there now. He's over there now. Oh fuck. Whoa. I almost hit that like oil hanker. That would have been hilarious if he just blow up. In the demo, in the in the basically. level. <laughs> It's like, you ever have, um, you know how you can, like, use, um, taxis to drive around? Yeah. And, like, it, you, there's that, like, button that it, like, costs you a little bit more money, but it automatically drives you to the place you wanted to go. Mm -hmm. Um, I've done that before, and then it, all of a sudden I wake up in the hospital. And it's, like, because the, the car actually does drive, and you can, like, sit there and watch the car drive. But if you pay the extra amount, it just skips that driving, but the driving still does happen, like, as far as the game's concerned. And so sometimes the cabbie will just come across something that blows up. And so I just blew up in the cabbie's car. And so I just died and then woke up in the hospital. I was like, wow, I took a cab and then died. Whoa. I mean, more exciting than my life. I hardly ever take cabs. I hate the city. The only time I take cabs when I'm in the city. To go a couple blocks. Usually in the winter. Summer, I don't need it. Fucking Holy fuck. Oh yeah, and then that right there, that shows us uh, the Union Depository, which becomes a mission later on. People honk at you too much in the city. Everybody, even people walking, hate walking in the city. Everybody's going so fucking fast. It's like, just yeah. chill, man. <laughs> they're getting somewhere. So it's like they're always late. Every single person in the entire city is always late for something. Yeah. I don't like that mentality. <laughs> I'm a small town guy. I'll get to my place and if I'm a little bit late, whatever. Fuck, that guy's dead. The popo. Gotta lose the cops. All right, yeah, and then they'll right. never do like, oh, where'd he go? We won't chase him at all. Hey, that's weird. I know it'd be annoying to like players of this game, but like, your stars go away, but the cop saw you do it. And what if you like later on in the game went by that cop again? Then they should be like, oh fuck, let's get him. <laughs> but uh, Like he just has a beat on you and fucking remembers. Well, you should be able to remember your face in your car, at least that one car. I don't know what I hit. So like my car has a dent in it. <laughs> Get over it. Oh, God. Who would want this car back? It's like fucking ruined. Oh, you have to bring the car back to the dude? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Oh shit, I had to go over there. Beautiful cityscape. Get out of my way, fuck. I just want to drive the wrong way on the freeway. Is that so much to ask? <laughs> I always find that every other car in the game is going so slow. Because they're, dr they're like going with their normal lives. You're running for your life, typically. No, I know, but even on the freeway, they're going, like, top speeds because they're on the freeway. And you can just rip past most of them. Well, because they're going, like, top, not top speed, but they're going, like, you know, speed limit on the highway would be, like, you know, 100 kilometers an hour or whatever the mile equivalent would be. And then, like, you're going, like, 200 because you're, like, pedal to the metal nonstop. So that's why it seems like they're not going fast. Or maybe you just have the flash in your engine. Maybe. A person. So we can come here to pick up missions, says Franklin. Uh, I've never gone back here since. Well, you don't like Franklin? No, I just, I mean, I've never gone back to this mission. This racist insulted me. <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah, this guy. He's uh he's the son of the other guy. <laughs> oh now I remember why I haven't come back here. I just remembered. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> Teasing him. <laughs> I'm out. Look at this car. <laughs> All right, next time on Turnabomb, we'll uh, continue the story and um, see what's up next for us.